We're going to talk a little about side dress applications, especially in corn, but there's one thing you have to know anytime you're going to put more nitrogen on late in the season. We just talked about wheat and we didn't mention this, but this applies there, it applies in all crops. You have to understand how much will your soil actually hold, so we talk about cation exchange capacity. When we look at the holding capacity of our soil, cation exchange capacity is a great measure and we use it as an estimate of how much nitrogen our soil can hold. So we take our cation exchange capacity times a factor of 10 to figure how many pounds of nitrogen we can hold at one time. So for example, let's say that we've got kind of a medium textured soil, our cation exchange capacity is 12. We multiply the 12 times 10 and we get 120 pounds of nitrogen that we can hold in our soil at any one time. So if our soil nitrate test says, well, you've got 50 pounds of nitrate out there, all right, we can hold another 70 pounds. So we can put 70 pounds out now. If we wanna raise a 200 bushel corn crop, chances are we'll be right back doing side dressing later in the season after the crop has used up some of that nitrogen. Now, in order to figure this out, you may say, oh man, here's another test I need to run. Cation exchange capacity comes standard on many soil tests. For example, on our farm, we use Midwest Labs and we use the S3C test. And in that S3C test, cation exchange capacity is standard. And your whole test, complete micronutrients, everything, costs somewhere in the $25 to $30 range. Then in crop, we wanna run this pre-side dress nitrate test. It costs five bucks, so it's not that expensive. All right, but one of the biggest questions we get about this cation exchange capacity is people will say, well, how much can I push it? If I, if, like Darren said, I should only put 70 pounds out, if let's say I throw a stabilizer with it or I use a controlled release nitrogen, can I throw 100 pounds out? Can I throw 120 pounds out? Here's what I always tell people. If we're right at the time, we're right at the critical time, we're just before tasseling, let's just say, and we know that we're gonna use 100 pounds of nitrogen like in the next two weeks, I don't really have a lot of worry there. Oh, if you want to bump it by a little bit, you throw a stabilizer with it or controlled release products, something like that, and you can probably go a little bit above and beyond, okay? It's not that big a deal. What I do worry about is if you want to throw 200 extra pounds out in the fall before your crop ever has a chance to pull anything up, then we, we're taking a lot of risk. So it's all kind of relative. So why do we talk about stream barring in wheat? Why do we talk about side dressing in corn? Hey, it's the most environmentally responsible thing to do, to put that nutrient out there as we're going to use it. Also, what we see many times when we apply heavy loads of nitrogen early in that season, whether it's in wheat or in corn, we see a lot more tillering. Now, does heavy tillering hurt our yield? Well, there's many in the industry that think that it does. Uh, obviously, we're gonna cannibalize some of those nutrients later in the season, but if we don't apply an overly large amount of nitrogen to start the season off, we see less of that tillering. And when we're putting on our nutrients later, now we don't have all that plant foliage to feed. We can just feed the main stock on our wheat or the main stock on our corn, and that's where the ear is at. So in my opinion, there's a couple of good reasons there. Then I just look at straight up yield. You can look at trial data from across the country, from many farmers that are doing their own independent trials, and it's quite often that we see a boost by split applying that in. Now there's a lot of different things that are going on out in the environment, so you're not always going to see, well, 100% of the time, it's going to be more yield putting 100 pounds on early, 100 pounds on mid-season, rather than 200 pounds pre-season. But, hey, I don't know which way is going to be the best for you, but I know that the, the stats look really good for splitting that, and certainly the environmental benefits are, are great. For me, I don't worry about the tillery at all in corn. All I really care about is Am I going to have enough nitrogen late in the season? Same thing with wheat in that, am I going to have enough nitrogen late in the season? It's not about the protein like it is in wheat. It's simply about the yield. I got to have yield if I'm going to survive in today's environment. And that means I want to have nitrogen available late. But I also have to be very cost conscious. And for me, the biggest reason why I want to look at the side dress thing is it's, it's cost. What we used to do, and I'll just tell you, on our own farm, we'd look at, oh, well, let's just put everything out in the fall. Well, is it all going to be there in spring? Ah, eh, probably not, but nitrogen's cheap, so you know what, let's throw an extra 30 pounds out there. Okay, so we wasted money, number one. Number two, we put too much nitrogen on, so that's not a great thing for the environment. And number three, let's talk about your soil. What happens when you put too much nitrogen on? Before it converts to nitrate, in that process, it's going to go to nitric acid, and it's going to strip out some of the calcium in your soil. You're going to lower your pH. And what, what do you do when you have lower pH? You say, well, I'll fix that by putting lime out there. So now you've spent more money 
uh, in, in wasted basically. You have wasted it on nitrogen. Right. You have now you're spending more money on lime. Yep. Yeah. And and you've done the wrong thing for the environment. So it's all bad. That's the reason why we want to talk a lot more about and understand your soil, understand how much you can put on, don't overdo it, and then let's take a look at a pre citrus nitrate test because maybe this is a great year, maybe this is a bad year, I don't know. But all I know is the closer you get to the time when you actually need the nitrogen, you have a lot more information to make a good decision. If it looks like, oh wow, this could be a record year, so I really want to throw an extra few pounds out there to capture that extra yield, great. If you say, this is an awful year, I'm not going to put the extra on, or like last year on our own farm, we did pre dress nitrate tests and realized, oh my goodness, we have 200 pounds of nitrogen sitting here. Where did it come from? I have no idea. But all I know is I don't need one more drop of nitrogen. We didn't put any more, more nitrogen out there, saved all kinds of money, and we ended up with the best yield we'd ever had. All right, I want to talk about a couple more things. I want to talk about the timing of this application and the method of application. With corn plants, the main growth spurt that happens where nutrient uptake just increases dramatically starts around V8, so eight collar corn. So we really want to get that side dress application out and have the nutrients in place that our crop can grab them at V8. So you may be out there at V5, V6, V7, somewhere in that window, and you have to kind of time it out because you'd love to see a nutrient application made and then rain happening not too far afterwards to make sure that nutrient can get into the root system of our plants. Now, the application. You could do it side dress with a coulter. You could side dress with a knife. Uh, you could use a wide drop system. I don't really care which one you choose as best for your farm. In some areas where guys say, man, I'm really dry, I wanna make sure I'm injecting it because I might not get rain for a week or two, I totally get that. If you're in another part of the country where you say, hey, I'm dry, but I think there's enough moisture with our humidity, the wide drop system makes a lot of sense for you. And if you're in a high moisture situation, I don't know if it makes as much difference. The important thing is the timing there. Don't wait too long, because you wanna make sure those nutrients are in place by V8. One last thing I guess I'd throw out about side dress nitrogen, a lot of people like to do plant tissue samples now and we think that's great. It's just plant tissue tests tell you what's in the plant now, they don't tell you how much nitrogen is going to be available a week from now or three weeks from now. That's where the pre side dress nitrate soil test really makes a difference. Making sure our crops have enough nutrients is very important to get top yield, so is weed control. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next. <music>